noticed a lot of butterflies around the past couple of weeks. We've had viewers sending us videos of the insects in their yards. Victoria Idoni talked to local butterfly expert Duke Wheeler to see what's going on. This video from Fostoria was just recorded by viewer Myra Spires of a phenomena that happens this time of year in our area. Our experts tell us butterflies you see in your yard are getting ready to make a 3,000 mile trip. Every year around this time, the black and orange monarch butterflies begin their southern migration to warmer weather to keep the species going. The monarchs that are local east of the Rocky Mountains are migrating down to Mexico. There's a fir tree, the Oya Mill fir tree that they stay in. From what I've seen of the monarchs this year, this is going to be the biggest population that we've had in, I'll say, 10 to 15 years. You're more likely to see them on the west side of town in the early evening, maybe just after you're done watching the 6 o'clock news. Or you can come visit the Butterfly House here in White House for the next couple of weekends. This habitat runs on solar power, which operates much like the migrating butterflies do. If their body temperature gets too low, they're unable to fly, so they spread out their wings to absorb heat from the sun until they're ready to take off again. You know, they fly an average of 50 miles a day, so people appreciate that. And we have all lost somebody in our life, and butterflies are mystical there. They, they, they show up when you least expect them, and then you say, geez, mom. Thanks for watching over me. There is a northward migration year after year in the spring. Female monarchs lay eggs for the next generation on their way back here between March and May. If you want to see more butterflies in your yard next year, the experts say plant milkweed along with other flowers and try to limit pesticides. From White House, Victoria Idoni, WTOL 11.